Hey guys, so, um, today's a bit of a different video. I've been a little bit mentally drained and I've been struggling to pinpoint why that's been the case. And this is going to sound so fucking dramatic, so just bear with me. But I had a, a kind of near-death experience and I think it shook me up a lot more than I realised. Because even at the time when it happened, I was like, why am I not more shaken by this and it, I think it's just because it was like delayed shock almost and I kind of just want to talk about it so that I think I've mentioned this before that I kind of use my channel as therapy in a way and I just need to talk about this. A couple of weeks ago I had lunch with my mum for her birthday and I spoiled her rotten, I got her like this Burberry scarf that she wanted her whole life and I bought her this really nice dinner at this great restaurant and on my way home um i was driving my car down the m25 so anyone not from the uk won't, won't know m25 is like a four lane motorway really busy it was like 7 30 8 o'clock at night or something so it was really dark at that time because it's now <laughs> we've just had daylight savings so the clock's gone forward but at the time it was pitch black and thankfully the majority of the motorway has lights on it and I don't know about you but I feel like I've fit, thought this for a while but a lot of cars nowadays their lights are so bright I'm so blinded that by them especially on the opposite side of the road like because they're going directly into your eyes so I'm coming down the N25 I'm on the first lane and in my little Fiat 500 and there's these lorries in front of me and they start pulling out into the second lane because I think they're pulling out because the lorry in front is going quite slow. So I start to slow down and then realize because these lorries were pulling out, I didn't see that the lorry actually had hazards on because it was pulling out from something that wasn't even a hard shoulder and it was going like 20 miles an hour and I was going about 60. And I didn't realize at the time the fucking lorry never saw me for a reason. I just thought the lorry was pulling out, pulling out. I mean, lorries on the M25 anyway, don't care. They'll just pull out even if you're fucking there anyway. So I just expected it was because of that. And I was so lucky, so lucky that I pulled out into the second lane to swerve away from this lorry. And thankfully there was no one in that second lane because otherwise I wouldn't be here. I would have either crashed into a car in the second lane or I would have been flattened by that lorry. And I know that sounds traumatic, but because people get in like near car accidents all the time, but it's that people have almost hit me before because it's like stupid things. Obviously, that stuff happens, but that was the closest call I've ever, ever had. I got down the N25, got off, and onto the A road that takes me all the way down to South End. And again, the majority of that road is lit, but there's small parts of it which are pitch black because there's no lights. So you're reliant on your headlights. And I thought. Oh, I don't know if I'm just like slightly blinded because I've had like the glare of other cars, like other SUVs with really bright lights on the other side for such a long time the M25. Like it seems kind of dark, but you know, I just figured it must just be me because there's no fucking emergency warning light to tell me my both of my fucking lights weren't working. Not one, both. And all I had was my little round daylights that gave it was literally like glow worms in jam jars is how much i could see and i didn't realize because i always had the cars in front lighting up the way and it, it confused the fuck out of me because i it was only when i got to another really dark part and i was actually the person in front and i was like the, my lights seem really dim like they're fading or dying and it i pulled over into a lay by and realized my lights are completely out they're gone and there was no warning light there was nothing on my dashboard normally when a daylight used to be an issue for me i used to have a big thing when every time i started up my car it said there's a problem with one of your lights and it was always because one of my daylights because they used to be on all the time you can turn them off which is what i have now done because it drives me nuts whenever they go off it gives you a fucking warning to say one of your lights isn't working and it was only Two days later when I found, because I assumed, oh, the fuse must have gone. Because how the fuck do you not have an emergency warning light that your lights aren't working? Not one, but both. And that happened within 10 minutes of me driving. Because when I left, both of them were working. So this isn't, oh, I just didn't notice. This was, both of them must have gone while I was on the M25. And there was no way for me to fucking know. It was only a couple of days later when I was looking at my dashboard and I realised that 
there's a little light bulb thing and a two next to it. So that must must have meant that that had a zero next to it. But why would I have looked at something so small when everything else has red warning lights around it or huge... Like, I've had problems with my car before where I had a hose issue that blew and so all of the water ran out of my radiator and then a big thing on my dashboard to say stop the car now. Nothing like that happened with my fucking lights when it was pitch black outside. Fear, sort that shit out. <laughs> She's all sorted now, but I'm super, super, super paranoid about my car. I locked my keys in my car, which I've never fucking done before, like this month. I had to have both of my extension arms replaced. That's been sort of due to happen in the last four years anyway. But one of them finally went and the other one was on its way out. And then this happened and it's just like, is my car on its way out or trying to kill me? Or are we done now? Is, is three the magic number? Are we please done? Because this is scaring the shit out of me now. <sighs> so anyway. I won't get rid of her until she falls apart. She is my baby. I love her. She's been through a lot with me. She's like Casper <laughs> at this point. She's part of the family. So she's not going anywhere. So yeah, um, I just wanted to talk about that. I feel better about it. Um, that's why there hasn't been many uploads. I apologize. It's just, I haven't had inspiration and I haven't been really up for filming or anything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.